approximately 6.40 p.m. last evening, Tuesday the 17th of September 2019. So Kevin Lunny was driving home when his vehicle was rammed by another vehicle and disabled. Mr. Lunny locked himself in the vehicle, but four masked men appeared, smashed the windows of Mr. Lunny's vehicle, forcibly removed him from the vehicle, and bundled him into the boot of a black Audi saloon and drove him away from his home. They drove for a period of time to an unknown location whereupon he was removed from the vehicle and savagely beaten about the body. He sustained severe and brutal injuries to his legs, torso and face. After this savage attack he was then bundled into another vehicle driven for another short period of time and then he was dumped on the side of the road just outside Cavan to fend for himself with his severe injuries. Thankfully a passerby came across him very soon after he was deposed on the road and summoned the necessary help that he needed for the severe injuries that he sustained. The PS and I and our colleagues in Anne Garda Siakana have launched a joint operation and we're putting all of our resolve and resource into bringing this to a swift and satisfactory conclusion for all. We appeal for anyone who has information on a silver BMW acting suspiciously in and around the Stragona Road area of Darlin last evening. Alternatively, information on a black Audi saloon who drove away at speed from the area of Stragona Road, Darlin, or any information whatsoever that you can assist us with in our investigation, please get in contact with the PSNI on our 101, coding reference number 1748, on the 17th of September 2019. Alternatively, phone our colleagues in Anne Gardashia Connor, or if you wish, phone the confidential line on 0800. 555-111. Quinn Industrial Holdings are linking this to the series of attacks and intimidation which has taken place against both the company and senior executives over a number of years. Is that something that uh, you share? We are at a very early stage in our investigation and we are keeping an open mind at this time. But this has been an ongoing situation in that area for some time. Police are well aware of the complexities and difficulties that this has had. However, we are using all our force and might to bring to justice those offend people who are committing offences in that area and against this company. And the company says it's inexplicable in the time that this campaign of attacks has been carried out that there's not been one arrest either north or south of the border. How do you respond to that? There are a number of lines of inquiry still ongoing about crimes that have been committed over the last two years. Those are still very much live investigations and I can't discuss any further on our actions on that. Are you looking at any particular organised crime groups with regards to the investigation here? Again, it's an early stage of this particular investigation. This is the most severe and savage attack that has been to date at this particular company or area. And we are keeping our open mind as to who or what is behind this. The company also said they were angry that this individual had not been given more protection. Is there a protection for the staff at this company now and has that been stepped up in the wake of what's happening? Where we have information or intelligence to suggest that somebody's life is at risk, we put in place all necessary measures to protect people and prevent harm. So is, is there more of a presence or a police presence around the company today? Today, yes, there is a police presence around that area because it was their board of directors conference the past two days and we had uplift our footprint in that area because of that. The Quinn, been family, able to, sorry, the, sorry. the Quinn family have said uh, they're frustrated and angered that they continue to be associated with these attacks and indeed they continue to condemn those attacks. Do you welcome that condemnation from the Quinn family? I welcome condemnation from every right thinking person across this district and further afield. Savage and brutal attacks like this should never happen to anyone for any reason whatsoever. You've been, uh, you described the injuries on Mr. Lunny as uh, brutal. Presumably you have been able to speak to him in terms with, with regards to what happened last night. Has he been able to assist with the police investigation? Yes, we have briefly spoke to Mr. Lunny. He was able to tell us some information 
but his injuries are severe and savage. Although not life-threatening, they will be definitely life-changing and he is assisting us with the inquiry as much as he can. Did the perpetrators have any particular like message or anything to say to Mr. Lumley? Sorry, one at a time. Did, you say, did the perpetrators have any particular message or did they give any... What did they say to Mr. Lumley, did he tell you? It's still a matter of an under investigation and I can't disclose anything at this time. Do you believe more attacks like this could follow? I would hope that more attacks like this do not follow and that the community support the PSNI and Angarda Siakana to put in place the necessary measures to prevent harm and protect people in the future.